It's time for some real education. In Irish folklore, a banshee, or woman of the fairy mound, is a female spirit who heralds the death of a family member, usually by wailing, shrieking, or keening. Her name is connected to the tumuli, or mounds, that dot the Irish countryside. In Ireland and parts of Scotland, a traditional part of mourning is the keening woman. Keening women may in some cases be professional, and the best keeners would be in high demand. And this is really an interesting thing. I mean, let me get the obligatory joke out of the way first. Uh, the Irish conception of the banshee as a wailing, screaming woman. We just call it a wife here in America with all the love we can give. Nevertheless, uh, Irish mythology is really kind of an interesting thing. There, are, Besides giving us leprechauns, which you don't know to want to tweak their little cheeks or be devoured by them with their sharp teeth. We, are leprechauns cute or are they incredibly disturbing or both? But Irish mythology is very interesting. And the character of the banshee is particularly a... Uh, a poignant kind of a creature. She is, I like what Katie said. It was the Irish who gave us the wake, right? The wake as we know it today is an Irish idea. The idea came from the, the thought that spirits were everywhere. Evil spirits were everywhere. So what had to happen is when somebody died, a living person was supposed to sit by the side of the corpse until it was put into the ground. You never let that body out of your sight because if there was no human presence, something evil might animate it. So hence the word waking. Somebody always was awake with the corpse. That's where the idea comes from. And keening, as, as Katie pointed out, is uh, among other things, it's the, profession, the, the job of a professional keener is to be a paid wailer. She would show up, get paid, and she would wail intermittently at the funeral to give it that incredibly moving, horrifying, mournful tone. And in Irish mythology, you can see an image of it here. She became a spirit, a symbol, almost a, a somebody, a creature caught in the fairy world, in the ether between the dead, living and the, and the dead. And she would wail and she would mourn. The French have a version of this, by the way, that doesn't speak. It's called the pleurant, the weeper. And they look very similar. The uh, oftentimes gaunt female figures with the hoods pulled over their faces who stand reposefully by the graves of the dead. The French gave you the pleurant. The Irish give you the banshee, a much louder, must, much screechier form of this mythological creature.